Okay guys, welcome. This one is another 1 in 20 traffic method. Now, this is advancing on some of the things that I've already shown you, okay? Um, if you have already seen how I create reviews, then this is another way of getting better SEO for our reviews, okay? Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to talk to you about this. Now, I should point out that what I say here doesn't mean that you should just go ahead and just follow what I'm saying okay this is just a way of me giving you information there are many many ways of actually um, doing this particular traffic method this is my way that I do it doesn't mean it's the right thing doesn't mean it's the wrong thing um, and it doesn't mean that it is the only thing that you should do right there's lots and lots of other ways that you can do this as well the idea of this video is just to show you and explain to you how you can get a little bit more from what you're already doing okay so more will be revealed okay so i'm going to shrink the screen down and we're going to jump straight into this okay so this is really all about helping you with wordpress okay now you don't necessarily have to have wordpress if you can't afford wordpress or you haven't got your own dedicated website um, there are other avenues you can go down okay there are some top affiliates out there which will really help you one of them which is another one of my mentors which is John Thornhill uh, I joined him about a year and a half ago um, he is a really good mentor because what he would do is he will show you um, and explain to you with all the software everything that you need to get you up and running plus SEO your WordPress site okay um, and then there was some other stuff which I've got into as well. Um, let's go over to here. And this the gentleman's called name is called Marcus. Okay, I'm just going to show you because I'm a member of the Facebook group. Um, it's in this side here. It's called Step for Profit. And in here, okay, is lots and lots of people where they create recession-proof websites. Um, you can also buy other websites as well, which you can use as authority sites. And the way that you do this is that this allows you to put in your links and everything else. Now, if you've never heard of um, Yive, which is your instant video empire, um, this is a collection of software where it costs you $99 a month. It gives you endless websites okay for just $99 a month and it will allow you to basically um, use lots and lots of ways to make recession proof websites okay now I'm not going to go too much into that I will leave the links below inside the YouTube channel if you want to get into that uh, by all means do so um, it's a very very good way of building it but it does take time to do it okay now this isn't what my video is about my video is about me showing you how i create reviews and then i pop these into my blog okay now there's two ways you can do this and, and i'm already showing you videos of how you can use a pmp how you can just transfer a pmp across which is already hosted okay and then you just pop that in but what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be doing a um, complete install if you like of a product that will be going into my wordpress um, site okay so i've created a video um the one i'm going to be doing actually is affiliate um i'm going to be using affiliate legion okay now uh, the last one which i did before which was called the elite academy by dawid islam um and this one i'm going to be doing the affiliate legion by dan Khan. now what's really cool about this and if you watch the video which is included inside this training module um you will find um that this is a really good membership because you can either pay seven dollars a month or 97 dollars a year uh, for a one-time price okay um it is just added content that you get all the time okay now i'm just going to give you a bit of a rundown this is the new one that's just come into which is the solo ads okay so what i've done is i've already done a review on this and then what i decided to do was do a content added so what i've done is i've created a second video now what's really cool about this is the more videos that you add into your blog the more google is going to think hang on a minute someone's going there they're trying to get information so it's going to send more views it's going to send more traffic to that particular page okay so especially if you're already getting um traffic anyway through facebook okay i'm sorry through facebook you can use facebook but also through um 
through YouTube as well. So if we go to my, my YouTube channel, I'm just going to pause this. And you'll see that this one here is new content added, okay? So this went live three hours ago and got four views, okay? Now, it doesn't sound a lot, but bear in mind that once you put it on YouTube, it's pretty much there for life, right? Now, um, and also you've got to work out that who is searching for these words, right? So, for instance, where I've only got four views here, it says secret ranking exposed. So who's actually going to be putting secret ranking exposed, okay? So there's ways you can do this. If you go to Google, google.com, okay? And then if you type in, so let's say secret, it's going to come up with the most people that have actually already typed in something, okay? So secret ranking so you'll notice that the secret ranking system is one of the things that first comes up here if we put exposed and we do a search you'll see that i'm second in um google okay on videos it comes up here two days ago this was added in secret ranking exposed so what this means is this is a good chance i'm going to get some traffic from this right um but what I really need to do is I really need to add in a blog because a blog is going to work well as well, okay? Because then when people are searching for this, they might not necessarily be searching for video. They might be searching for uh, news about secret rank and exposed for affiliate marketing videos, right? Um, and then that's when your blog is just going to give it another um, definition. You're gonna, you, what you're going to be doing is you'll be going to um, help your blog, which is going to be giving it more authority okay and also if you say did two or three of these videos that's the secret you want to do at least two or three videos and then link them uh, either embed them into your wordpress site or if you don't want to use wordpress you don't have to okay you could go to medium medium's completely free so if we type medium and you'll see that if i sign into my medium You'll see that I've got other sites I put in here as well. Okay, so we're just signing into mine, and you'll see that uh, a lot of people get a lot from this. Now, what they tend to say is to go to the advanced level where I think it costs you a bit more money. I don't, I just create and write. And then if I go to here and then I go to my own library, it's going to show me um, stuff which I've already put inside my list. Okay. So if we go here again, profile, here we go. And it's going to show you stuff that I've already added in here. So unique bonuses included with this. Um, and then this one, Mid-Year Madness 2023 review explained because it was also that I'd done. This one here was uh, my last product I brought out, okay, um, which was bags which is build a roll and groove software okay plus it's got lots and lots of other traffic method inside there as well uh best my best deal on the planet so there's loads and loads of ways that you can use this all right and you see that i've just added this in if we go back to home and it's going to open this up now it doesn't matter if you don't get any followers with this because what it does is this acts as a backlink okay so what you're doing is you're having your YouTube video and you're acting this as a backlink. Now there's lots and lots of other things that you can use to do this. Um, there is a whole list of stuff actually, which I perhaps should have got ready and I could have popped this up, but I can't remember. But there's loads and loads of other ways. You can use Tumblr, you can use Twitter, you can use um, Instagram, you can use Pinterest because these are all gonna create backlinks, okay? Uh, and I have some special software where you can post one video on say 600 tumblr videos uh, tumblr um, accounts and this is just going to spread it very very well okay so that's what works really well yeah i only give access to that sort of software uh with inside my memberships okay and you only get it if you ask for it so that's just something just to bear in mind uh, now i am doing a super deal at the moment on my memberships um which you will probably see with inside this particular video so what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to start to build something okay so the best way to do this okay is um that you want once you've got a, a wordpress site now remember wordpress is is completely free to use okay the only time that really that wordpress starts to get expensive 
um, is if you have to have it hosted, if you have to have um, a domain, because the domain seem to go up dearer every single year. This is something I find out. Um, and also you can use software. It's like this is optimized press, which is probably quite expensive. It's about $259 a year for me to have that as well. Okay. But it does give you lots and lots of information. Okay. So you'll see here that I've headed this out. Now there's a, a really good, um, up, it's, it's like, a, it's like, um, there's a, a if I can call it it's called a plugin okay and it's called Yive okay Yelst so it's this one here Yelst so if we click on this Yelst here all right and open this up this is going to give you lots and lots of ways it can end it's completely free you don't have to go for the premium a premium does work if you was a professional then I would suggest you go for that um but you know, Yelse is really going to work because Yelse is built on to all of your posts and anything, your pages, etc. It's going to show you ways that you can actually uh, be more um, recognized on the internet. Okay, so if we go here and I put like post, it's going to open up my posts, and you're going to see this little button here, which is like in amber, and then this one's in red. Okay, now really what you want to try and achieve, you want to get these all in green. Now before it used to be very, very difficult to do that because you used to go out and get a copywriter and you'd say to the copywriter, okay then, uh, could you please um, create me um, an article which is going to have certain things which you need to make sure that you have for it to go green. And the way you do that, is if we click on say for instance this one here mid-year madness if i click on this right and call edit and we open up this page when we scroll down you're going to have yells that's built in it's going to tell you what you need to do to make your actual um post better okay much better right and i'm going to show you because it's going to be very important for you to understand so the first thing that you would do all right is you scroll all the way down to the bottom and you've got this bit here okay so you've got seo right so the seo at the moment is is in amber okay so really we want this in green now there's ways that you can achieve this and some of the things it will tell you okay so if we go to readability and you'll see that at the moment I've got passive voice. Okay, this is you. You're using your enough active voice. Okay, which is great. Consecutive sentences. There is enough variety in your sentences. That's great. Paragraph length. None of the paragraphs are too long. Great job. And sentence length, which is um, okay as well. Now, the subheading distribution, okay, which is in red. This is telling me that it's not that great. Okay, so... There's two ways that you can do this. You can click on the subheading distribution. And it's going to open up Yoast SEO for everyone. And it's going to tell you why use headings, right? Use headings to show texture structure. So what you do is you basically read through this. And it's going to show you exactly why you will need this, how you're going to use this, how this is going to work for you, how this is going to improve your actual a blog if you like okay and then how the structure of the headings are going to work so firstly you are limited to using one h1 heading on each page okay the h1 heading should be the name title of the page and post and how to use headings on your site you can think of h1 like you would think of a name of a book okay so it's just a way that if you like um google or or what Google does is Google actually uh, references your blog. Okay, so as you write your content, you can use H2, H3 subheadings to introduce different sections, like how to improve the distribution of headings. Okay, so what does the subheading distribution check in Yelp's SEO? Okay, so you got another one here. The subheading distribution checks access whether you used enough subheadings in your text. Most texts of over 300 words need subheadings to help you read, scan, and text. So this check will notify you if your text is longer than 300 words and doesn't contain any subheadings. It also lets you know if a text section followed a subheading is too long, i.e. more than 300 words, and suggests you a subheading to improve the readability of the part of text. 
So how to get a green traffic light for your subheading distribution. So what do you do uh, if you have an orange or red traffic light in your Yaos SEO plugin for your subheading distribution? Well, first of all, this is quite obvious. Don't forget to use subheadings, okay? You should try to create a subheading for every separate topic in your text. This could be for every paragraph, but also for a couple of paragraphs discussing the same topic. We advise putting a heading above every long paragraph or above a group of paragraphs which form a thematic unit. The text following a subheading generally should be no longer than 250 to 350 words. Now it shows you a subheading here, okay? An example for heading structure, let's say we have a blog post about ballet shoes. We've chosen the ballet shoes as a focus keyword and written an article all uh, about the reasons why we like ballet shoes. Without headings, there is a risk we might end up writing a really long rambling piece that is hard to understand. But if we structure the things logically using headings, we not only make it easier to read, but we also focus on our own writing. Here's what the structure of the post might look like. Okay, so you've got H1, ballet shoes are awesome, right? Then H2, we are, we will what's this why we think ballet shoes are awesome okay so why we think so what you could do is you could copy this okay because this will work uh, so you do is copy why we think copy that now we're going to go back over to here okay we're going to have a look into this and then we're going to put click on here all right and then we're going to go here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up um, I want H3 that's what I really need so if I go to text um, sorry visual and then I want to create H3 okay because H3 is classed as a subheading so we're going to click on this and then we're going to put Control V, why we think 51 products is good for you. Okay, and then I'm going to just, I'm not going to bold it, I'm going to take the bold out. Okay, and then we're going to update. And then what we're going to do is once that's updated, we're then going to view it. So view post, open a new tab. So it's this one here, and then we're going to look. Okay, now if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see that we still got amber okay which is normal at the moment because we're working on it okay so we're slowly building this up to make it something better they've got readability and you'll see here that a subheading distribution one section of the text is longer than 300 words it's not separated by any subheadings okay so that's one so so what we need to do is we need to look for something that's got more than 300 words and then we need to open this up okay so the way to do this, you see, obviously, if you had the premium, it will show you. Uh, that's one of the reasons why premium works really, really well. OK, so that, for instance, we've got probably quite a lot on here. OK, so what we could do is we could put these products cover a wide range. So if we bring that down like that, and if we put in a subheading here, so what we're going to do is we're gonna go to paragraph subheading three and then we're going to put what is in the products oops sorry what's in the products okay and then we're just going to update
and then we're going to see what this is going to look like. Okay, so we're going to go back, our readability, and we're going to click on here. So what we've got to do is we've just got to work through what we've seen here. So we're going to go in here, readability. So what we're doing now is we're going to create, um, we're going to keep doing this until we find the subheading. Okay, so what we're going to do is we look at this. So conclusion. So, so what we could do is we could go here and we could put, okay, let's go here. And I'm going to do the same thing, heading three. And I'm going to put, can we take advantage of this? Okay. And I'm going to put a question mark. And then we're going to go back. I'm going to update. Now, you could just go through the whole process. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just showing you really so you get a good idea of what I'm doing. Um, and then you're getting an idea also of how it's going to look, okay? Um, because the idea is that if we got over 300 words, as they said before, if you read the instructions, it tells you that it's hard for someone to read 300 words all the way through, when if you break it down, it makes it easier and more manageable for people to read, okay? So if we put another one. Are there modules here to help you okay and i'm just going to change that to heading three okay now you see what i did there okay so you can type it then go up to your box and change it to whatever you want okay and then what you want to do again is you just want to update So you could work on effectively, which is what I'm going to do next. Okay, so I'm going to show you. We're just going to scroll through. So we can see that there's a couple more things that need to be done for the readability to be working properly. You can also see that the Google preview, okay, this is what it's going to come up with. So if there's anyone searching for something, why you need mid-year madness, okay, what I should really do is I should have this um, where it's, mid-year madness review 2023 and then what it will do is it will show people see there's a slug here right so i can change this so if i put if we take this out mid-year madness review 2023 okay because that's going to look better so we're going to update that <clears throat> and if anyone's searching that then there's a good chance they're going to bring up that blog as well okay and then if we scroll through you see the readability now has gone green okay because where so what we've done is is we've actually our subheading distribution is done great job so we're now in the green so the next thing it shows you is word complexity right is your vocabulary suited for a larger audience uh, transition of words only 12.8 of the sentences contain transition words which is not enough use more of them right so if we look for transition it will show you what the words are that need to be added in here okay so know the words the easiest way to get started to simply look up a list of transition of words you just click on this and it says here the readability analyze yes so we're just going to look through this so additionally accordingly afterwards also although okay so these are the words right so let's put this copy and then we're going to go back into here and we're going to look see if we can we can dress the words in right introduction okay offering so let's have a look mm. 
And so we just look in. So we could take this out, right? And put in although. These products cover a wide range of topics. So although already sounds better. And then these modules. Okay, so let's go back to that Yoast information. And then we could use this one. Oops. I don't need to copy and paste it. I can write because, right? So let's go back here. And then put here. Because modules develop, delve deep into crucial aspects. So you see what we're doing. One of the standalone features. So let's see reseller rights. So let's go back here. Another. So let's use another. So we go back here. In fact, I could have put another one of the standalone features okay so another sounds a lot better and we need to make that's the capital okay so you're getting the idea right so if we go back remember it's 12.8 percent so now if we check it now i'm just saving it and i'm just going to show you now it's very, very important that you learn how to do this because the easiest part really is me transferring the script across if you like with inside the blog so working through this is just going to give you an idea of what you need to do once you've done that okay and i'm going to show you that next so here we go right so now if we look now we've got readability which is green okay we've got my slug which i've made as mid-year madness review 2023 so this is going to make it stand out a lot better and we can have desktop so this shows you what it's going to look like in desktop and in mobile mode okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to readability and we're going to look at transition words now is at 20.5 percent and we're now in amber okay so what this means now is that we're here or there okay yin and yang right so what we want to do is we just want to improve this a little bit more so what we need to do is just put a couple more of those um, transition words which are here okay and we've got a whole list here okay which is going to be really easy to do this right so we're going to put certainly copy this we're going to go back we're going to go through the actual thing and then i'm going to change that Control V, and then I'm going to put a C there, like so. Certainly, take advantage. of this opportunity today okay so that sounds a little bit better it sounds a little bit um smoother you know it's not so coarse when you're saying something so cost effective effective investment so we could put something in here so let's have a look so we could put consequently this would work well copy consequently is a good word it works really well so you could put consequent consequently with media okay so i'm gonna put c again and then we're going to save that we're going to update that okay so when you update you save okay so just in case you can also create this as a draft as well before you actually want to publish it so you get everything all running through and remember yes yeah, you just download you just put it in the plugin if you don't know how to do it give me a shout i might do a little video to show you if you are unfamiliar with putting plugins inside wordpress but it's fairly straightforward so you'll see now the seo is coming up with good readability is coming up with good right and if we scroll all the way down we can see now that our seo is in amber and our readability okay is in green so if we click on here a transition of words now is 20.5 so we can still work on this right we've still got things to do this so it says here highlight this result in the text so if we click on this it's now showing me where 
what I've added in okay so consequently another one because in addition and then it shows you what you haven't put in okay so conclusion right so this is another one we can add in here so if we go to here conclusion right so you could put comparatively right grab that copy that go back in here and then you could click on here okay comparatively so we'll look for conclusion which is here I'm going to paste that in there like so and then I'm going to capital C comparatively now all you've got to be careful is if you had too many words and say it was like 299 words which is good and you add another one then you can have 300 then it just means you might have to play around with it okay but you can see that comparatively mid-year madness 2003 is a remarkable business so that's going to work well right so we're going to go here and update and i'm hoping this is going to turn green in a minute if it don't we'll just keep working until it does but you get the drift you get you get what you do here okay so you can see that it's still orange so introduction looking to start your own internet marketing business so you could put another word in here right so if we go here basically another altogether although also so let's have a look and see if we can find something that's going to be working for that firstly firstly works good let's try that copy and we're going to put introduction so firstly if you are okay okay and we're going to update so there's another one that's gone in Okay, we're still amber, but we expect that. Okay, so 51 high quality products. So we're going to put something in there. So let's go back here. Uh, furthermore, we'll try that one. Copy. Go back here. Paste that in. So you just be careful again, because if you repeat too many words, it will come up it will flag it right so you, so you, you know you've got to be a bit careful so further more update save that one hopefully that will go green surely in a minute that's why you can pay up to a hundred dollars for a philippine to do this on your wordpress site a day and they just work on it and this is all about you know you'll find about that in uh, yives uh, or inside john Fornhall's um actual um high-end product okay where basically also uh with partnership to excess success he shows you how to launch a very own product with clickbank and also he helps to promote it and you get a minimum of 100 sales okay so it works really well like that so what we got here media the complete business so let's just chuck something on there we'll go back here uh, lastly uh, likewise meanwhile moreover nevertheless nor obviously occasionally so what we're going to use um, instead of never of meanwhile likewise not lastly because it's hence generally so we're just looking finally let's use that one and we're going to pop that in there we finally let's save that And what we're doing is our SEO is obviously going up because it's going to make it more readable. And then what's going to happen then is 
Google is going to allow more people to see it because they it, it's got like an algorithm which it already knows and it's already going to be thinking what you're putting in how it's going to work what's going to work how and and what it's going to do right so you know that that's one of the reasons why okay so i don't think i'm going to get green with that because i've run out of things to put it in um the only other way i could probably do it is if i check out something like this so if i put something there so only following firstly generally generally works let's try that and then we're going to do that generally by tapping into the probability of opportunity and then we're gonna the affordability I'm going to put something in there as well. Furthermore, oh no, we've done that already. Um, finally, explicitly, ev ev evidently, it's a good word. Let's use that one. Copy. Okay, now let's try that. So I've added a couple more into this. And the SEO is still amber, okay? But I'm not going to go on too much because I don't want to make this too long, okay? Because I've still got to show you how to copy this across. Okay, so you get the drift, all right? So the SEO is improving all the time. So we'll go to readability. You'll see that we've got all green, which is really good, okay? We've got uh, the voice is very good. It says the co there's lots of other, there's a problems. Click on the problem. And what is the problem? Problems. There is one which is good result okay so it's telling me it's all okay anyway right so the schema this is where you can default your post to the web page default your post to article um, you can feature an image there's loads and loads of things you can do with this okay social is where you can put your facebook title in facebook description in facebook image so there's loads of stuff which you can do with that as well okay and then what you want to do is look at added related key phrases uh, this is where you can put certain key phrases in uh, mid-year so SEO analysts if we click on here and it's going to show you images no images appear on this page add some okay so we're going to click on here and again it's going to show you how you do all that all right so you just follow all this information and it will show you exactly how to do this how to set it all up etc okay so it's just giving you a rough idea but the most important one is your readability you need to be green and if you can you want your seo to be green as well okay even though i've got a good result and it's in amber right so i'm going to leave that at that so the next thing we're going to do now you know how to seo your page all right and you know how to get good readability uh, by using Yoast, okay, which is this little fellow up, up here. What we're going to do now is we're going to transfer a page across. Now, if you think, oh, Darren, I haven't got a WordPress site, you can use this one here, right? You can use Medium, Medium, okay? And all you need to do is sign up for it, and you're just going to click on Write, okay? So for our instance, all right, if you've already created your WordPress site, this is a very good thing to do. Okay, because we can transfer that across. So you could click on here. We can open up a title and we can put what the heck is mid year madness, right? And then we can put tell a story. So what you can do is you've already gone through so you know that the seo that you've done on this is good right you know because you've just done that so what you can do is you can now copy this right so for instance you could copy this like so into here okay and then you can click on here and it's going to give you 
add a new part. We can um, add a new code block. So for instance, you could put your HTML in here, right? Uh, you can embed your video. You can add a video. You can add an image from Unsplash. And then you can add an image anyway, right? So if we want an image with this, we'll just click on here. I'm going to search for an image. So I'm going to use... Let's go out of here, back on here. Um, let's just go out of here a minute. Use this one, okay? So it's going to bring up this image here. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to paste in some text, okay? I'm going to paste plain text. And then we want to change this again, right? Because it's important that we change this, right? So what we're going to do is we can click on here. And we're going to bring this up. So this effectively now is going to stand out a little bit more, right? So we're going to enter. Now we're going to add some text. So we're going to click on here. In fact with your text what you do is you go in here and you just copy this like so and if you add this it will remember the format paste okay and it's already done it for you it's added all the format now only do this if it's your own text and you know that there is no html uh, or any hyperlinks built into it all right um, because otherwise you don't know someone might be trying to um, collect information from you by in connecting a cookie with inside the WordPress or site or inside this site, okay? So I'm going to leave this like this because I think this works really well, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a call to action. So what you can do, there's two ways you can do this. You can either highlight, and the best way to do it is like this, unlock your path to success, okay? That would be the best way to do it because you could put a link in there, right? So if we go now and pick up, let's go back. I've got to find it. Mid-year manage review, which is this one here. Click on there. Grab that link, copy. Okay. And now we're going to paste that into Midian. Okay, you see this is highlighted. So if we just do it again unlock your path to success and then we're going to paste in that link okay and hit enter now what it's going to do is going to highlight and it's also going to come up with the bonus crate okay so now when anyone clicks on this link this bonus crate is going to open and this is going to take them to the call to action okay now you could do loads and loads of these right and put these all over the place okay there's loads and loads of ways of advertising this okay like i said to you before this is just one way i'm showing you which you really if you do reviews you should really move on to the next level uh by putting them into a blog okay because this is going to really help you and you can see it looks really professional okay and then what you do now is just hit publish it's going to come up with a preview what the heck is media madness why you need Changes here will affect your... It's, it's basically putting everything in, okay? Now, what you do now is in your topic, you put affiliate, okay? And grab something like that. Um, you could do best side, hustle, best side hustle, okay? Uh, business. Uh, business tips. Business strategy. Anything like that is going to work. And then email marketing 38,000 okay so you i think you can only oh you can have five okay that's good work so work from home 29,000 we've got one more to go so you won't really want to use these up right because this is really cool when we need it we need the traffic as much as possible um uh, resale resale so it's not going to work on that Let's try digital Digital marketing, 207,000, that's it, well, that will do. Right, now we're going to do is hit publish. And that's it. You're publishing, it's all out there. Now if anyone comes across it, of course you can find the link yourself, okay? So where we've got this link, we click on here. 
um, sorry, this one here, share. We can share to Twitter straight away. Literally just click on it and it will go straight into my Twitter account. So I'm going to do that anyway. That's going to help with my SEO. It's also going to help by creating a backlink. Okay, so that's done. Then we're going to share with Facebook. Now there's a good group that you can use. The only problem is, is sometimes it does, it does get attacked by porn. All right, but it's a good Facebook group because there are people that look around on it. And um, I do get, um, I have collected leads from using this particular group. Okay, so I'm going to show you anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on here, go to sharing group. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the group name in. Okay, now the new the name of the group is called Weld. It's Worldwide Affiliate Marketing. Okay, which is the top one. And and with this, this works well because I haven't had um, where sometimes you post something and then they say, oh, well, the admin didn't post it. You know, they post it. Okay, now the reason they post it is because you're doing the link through a blog if you did this through an affiliate link say warrior plus or bonus crate you would probably go to facebook jail okay that's why it's very important that we put the link inside um, a blog okay now there are other ways that you can do this so i'm going to show you shortly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this information here this bit here all right so if we go back here I'm going to copy this and I'm going to use that um, where is it I've got to paste that in there like so because there's nothing there's no link in here okay so it's perfect right so we've got introduction first of all we're just basically telling them about what it is etc and then what we do now is hit post to Facebook And what they're going to do is they're going to look there's no link in there whatsoever but there is going to be done okay there is going to be a link all right which you can open up and that's going to open up the blog and then inside the blog is going to be the call to action okay that is the best way facebook like you to do links because they don't mind that because you're giving them information without a link but then when they click on the link it takes them to a blog where the link is and it's not necessarily taking them away um from what they were looking at in the first place okay right so that's that okay so what we're going to do now is i'm going to show you how we're going to create um an actual blog using my wordpress okay now if you've got your own wordpress this is what you would be doing okay so this is we've got to bear in mind this is all set up so where i've created all this all right if i go and look at this page it's going to be completely different all right because I've already got a template that's set up with this. So if I click on here, home, why you need Media Madness 2023 to review and value explained, okay? So now when we open this up, it's going to give this, okay? And then it's just gonna have a breakdown and you can see that it's all built to work well, okay? See my review here. So when people click on this, it's taking them away from the blog taking them into the review and then they get to see what I've got to offer okay so that's how that works all right and that's using commission griller right so what we're going to do now is we're going to just very very quickly um, create another post okay so we're going to go here we're going to click add new this is going to open this up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer an actual um, page okay which is what I'm using on YouTube across to here now i'm going to be doing this in a little bit of a way that you might not know okay but this is what i'll be doing okay so what i'm going to be doing is it's affiliate it's affiliate legion that we're going to be using this for okay so i'm going to be putting affiliate legion review new content added okay that's what i'm concentrating on Plus my bonuses all right that's what I'm concentrating on 
So that's how I'm doing that. Right now, what we're going to do is we need to put some information down here. Okay, now this is very easy to do because what I can do is if I go into my, this is the one here. Okay, this is my last YouTube video which I've done. Okay, and you can see it's premiere. Uh, it ended a few seconds ago. Okay, and you can see that that there's information in here which we can use because if I click on here show more I can then grab some of this stuff okay now what I'm going to be doing okay is I'm going to be grabbing this information like so copy all right and then I'm going to be using um, I'm going to be using a open AO all right which is this one here Okay, chat GPT. And I've got to log in. And then the secret with using um, chat GPT is wording it in such a way that you basically get it to create the article for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is this is chat GPT. So I'm going to put, please, can you write me as if you are a professional blog creator um, please can you write me as if you are a professional blog creator and I'm going to put a question mark I'm going to put this is important okay I put a, a comma uh, sorry well you know you know what it is anyway control okay I'm going to control V and then I'm going to put that please can you also go into, if I can spell, into detail about how this affiliate marketing product will help you? Right, that would do. Right, so I've just got to sort a few things out into detail. One time. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to enter. Now what it's going to do now is it's going to, in seconds, it's going to buy out introduction and everything else, right? And you're not having to worry about having to pay a copywriter to do this, okay? So this is super, super fast. You can see it's creating step by step and then of course the first part of the training shows you how you're supposed to um, use certain ways to get the SEO, be the SEO better, the readability better, uh, which you already know. Okay, So it says affiliate legion, so it's having a little think. So we're just going to let this do its thing. It's just scrolling through. What's basically happening is there's loads of other people that are actually using this, and why they're using it is slowing the actual process down of it actually working. Okay, so we should be okay. If not, I have to refresh the page and then we just go again. Okay, so that looks like that's finished. So, what we're going to do now is we're just going to grab up here, which says introduction, and we're going to copy this down. Oh, it's still running. We'll just let, let it do its stuff. So it's now going to go through how Affiliate Legion helps you. So you're getting a whole article completely built for you. All right. Now, what's great about this also is this is unique. So if someone else asks for the same thing, it's not going to write exactly the same thing. So uh, the actual uh, text is going to be completely different. All right. So and, and also you're going to be playing around with this anyway. Right. You're going to be fiddling about with this. You're going to be putting in a couple of different words. So or. Uh, on that side of it is going to be unique anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some videos in here. As I said to you before, you want to add at least two to three videos, okay? And they need to be in here because what that does is it acts as a backlink uh, and that's just going to help even more. So this is finished. You see where it's just rewrote itself up here and you see that we've now got what we needed, okay? Now, what I can do with this, which I haven't shown you yet, is if you put K 
can you please expand on this and make the title um, the article longer okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna copy this anyway right but I'm just showing you what you can do right so I'm gonna to go to introduction I'm just gonna wear this first in case it has a fit copy and then I'm gonna paste this into into here paste is plain because we're gonna sort that out in a minute okay go back here and then I'm just gonna enter and what it's going to do is going to say, yeah, sure, no problem. Now it's going to rewrite comprehensive, and it's going to literally rewrite and, and expand more on, on what it was talking about, okay? And then what you could do is where you've expanded this, you could use this on medium, right? So you could put this on medium while you have the other one here, okay, which we're working on which is Affiliate Legion Review. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a picture in here. So we're gonna put introduction. So I'm just gonna put a picture. I'm gonna add a media, like so. And we're gonna look through, click on upload file, select file, download. And I'm going to find the affiliate legion so i'm going to use this one here okay start with that would be fine now this is important as well your text learn how to describe the purpose of this image so again you could put affiliate legion picture okay caption description affiliate Picture. Now the reason you're doing this is because if someone searches for it, there's a good chance it will bring this up. And it says here, file URL, okay? Or copy your URL. So you, we can put an actual, where you, you see that the, the, the link's already in here, okay? So that's what we got. So when someone clicks on this, you can if you want. You can send them off to so attachment, so display settings, so alignment, URL, thumbnail, etc. But at the moment, I'm not going to go too in depth with that. Now I'm going to hit insert to post and we're going to see a picture appear in here. And if it doesn't come, it will be later, okay? Because what will happen is it just does that. Okay, so introduction. So if we click on here um, and we want to change this to H1 because we know, oh, well, that was interesting. Let's go back and change that to H1. Reformatted. Let's try that again. That's because it's connected. So we're going to put. There we go. Right. It's because it's, it's uh, connected, okay? But what you want to do now is you want to go through the whole context of this. You want to change these to H3, okay? Well, you know, there's two ways you can do this when it does this, is if you just click on here, just bridge it away, put that back to pre-formatted, okay? And then that's the same and then just go back he's gonna what he's gonna do is he's just gonna copy it's because where I've copied it across as a formatted thing it's still got the format in it that's why if you unformat it's a lot easier to work out what you're doing because you can see now I'm struggling to try and get everything in place, okay? But you get the idea, and you see the readability, the SEO, etc. You've got an idea now of how to do that. If you follow the first part of the video, it's going to show you exactly how you're going to put this into action. What we would do now is where we've got this bit here, uh, which is the picture, okay? What you can do now is we could put affiliate lead. Uh, Legion review. So what we can do now is we can put a video in here. Now there's two ways you can do this again. Um, you can go to text, okay, and where it, it says 
this bit here, you can go to Affiliate Legion. Keep clicking on that. Affiliate Legion, new content added. I want I want a different one, actually. I want Affiliate. Uh, let's just search for it. See if I can find it. See, my bonus is third, uh, fourth at the moment, which is quite good. Here we go. Bonus product, which is this one here. This is the last one I added. This is the one I want. So I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to let it play. And then I'm going to right mouse click. And then I'm going to copy embed code. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to here. And I'm going to paste in my embed code. Now the reason why is because this will work better an embed is going to work better than me just trying to put a video in it okay now if I put it back to visual you aren't going to see it but you're going to get an idea of what I'm doing okay so there is there is method in my madness so we've got this one here so the next one is going to put how affiliate can help you so we're going to click on here and in here I'm going to paste in so we're going to go back here on one, this one here. Affiliate Legion new content, right? So I'm going to right mouse click on here, copy embed code. I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to paste in here, right? So I'm going to put control V, enter. Okay, and then we're going to go back to visual. And what it's going to do now is it's going to open the two videos that are in here. Okay, so we've got Instruction, Affiliate Legion, Affiliate Legion. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add a picture in here. So we're going to go here. Now, you can add it like this way, or I can do it by text. Okay, but I'm going to show you this way. So we're going to go Add Media. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a file, select file. And I'm going to see if I can find it in here. Here we go. So I'm going to add this one. Uh, I'm going to add the bonus first. And then I'm going to... Now, what you can do again is you can have this as hyperlink, everything else, but we're running out of time. So I'm just going to put this on there like this. Insert page. And then I'm going to... Just shut that. Okay, so that's done. Let's check to see what it looks like. I'm just going to add a picture in here because that didn't come through. So add media, upload, select. Oh, wrong one. Let's use that one. Just let this load in. Insert. Seems to have slowed down for some reason, but what we're going to do now is we're just going to well, it's comprehensive. Let's just change that. Hitting free. Back to text. Okay, so you get the idea. Okay, so once we've done that, and we've got all that in place, etc., and all you need to do is just make sure that you save or publish, okay? Now the reason it can't be published at the moment is because there's lots and lots of things that we need to do on this before I can actually publish it. But that, you get the idea, okay? So then what you would do then is you could copy the slug. So when you save it, so status, slug. 
So I've saved it as a draft. Because what it would do is it will it will stop you from saving it if there's something not quite right with the page. And that's quite good in some ways. But you get the idea anyway. So what you do is just hit publish and that's it. You're all done and dusted. So hopefully that's going to help you. You've got an idea now how you can actually um, add in your blogs. And really all the information that you got was you can use pretty much this information here. So if we copy this bit here, all right, copy this. And if we go back in here, and then if we look for somewhere where we can paste this in, like this one, click on here, insert, right mouse click, paste that in, and now hit that key there. Okay. And then you just hit publish, and that's it. You're done okay so um you now have an idea of how you can use wordpress how you can use medium how you can also use chat gpt very very quickly super fast i mean look at this it's completely indexed everything out it's all good to go it's very professional and then all you need to do is follow the first part of the instructions of what i've shown you with inside this video of how to seo it using yoast and um you'll be all good to go cheers